Hello everybody. I am sorry I'm late. I meant to use, um, are we live now? Okay, I'm having technical difficulties. Um, I meant to go live a little bit earlier, about 15 minutes ago. Um, we were gonna use, uh, what's it called? Um, live stream, not live stream, um, StreamYard. Because I wanted to pin some links to you and highlight any comments, but it's not working out right now, so I'm gonna have to call technical support on that one later, um, but we'll just do it the usual way on Facebook Live. Alright, so if you don't know me, I know we have some new followers uh, on our Facebook page and Instagram. Uh, so my name is Avery. I'm the owner of Lily Pads Reusable Products here in New Brunswick, Canada, and that's in Atlanta, Canada. And um, I've owned Lily Pads um, for almost five years now, four and a half years. And we we offer reusable uh, menstrual products and other personal care products that make your life easier. They're fun. They're colorful, and just make that time of the month a little bit. Um, better to deal with. So, I'm thirsty and I love my new mug. Anyways, if you're here, please say hi, leave a comment, let me know that you're here. If you're watching the replay, let me know. Uh, comment, hi, I'm here. Um, and, uh, and I'll say hi back. So, we have a brand new product this month. I have three new products here with me with some variations, um, but there is one brand new product that you haven't seen before in Lily Pads. And I'm so, so, so excited to share it with you. Hi, Bethany. Good morning. Happy Friday. <laughs> so I'm so excited to share with you this brand new product. And the product is called Lily pads boosters, pad boosters, um, or otherwise called, I guess the um, usual name is interlabial pad. So really fun. There's a lot to talk about with that. And I have some new pads and some new mini wet bags. I'm just going to check the comments right quick here. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Perfect. So those are the products I'm going to be talking about, but first I have a little story for you. Um, so, you know on the Lily Pads page, we get into it. We um, say things that some people think are TMI, but we're all girls, we all go through it, and we should be talking about it and helping each other out and ending the period stigma. It's not gross, it's natural, uh, it's a part of life. So it creates life <laughs> so we're gonna get into it so the first is a little story I have from my last period cycle and let me tell you it was bad um, if you don't already know I know I have discussed this before but I have PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome and it has a lot of different um, a lot of different side effects um, that aren't so fun and one of them being you can have very heavy periods you you can also have uh, no periods at all um, but this time it was very heavy and I didn't know when it was coming um, a big side of, a big um, symptom not side effect of PCOS is unregular cycles and it's been a mess the last few months so I didn't know if this period was coming on this day I didn't feel too great I had signs of PMS for I don't know how long. It seems like PMS is every day of um, of the month for me. <laughs> but anyways, so I thought it was going to come. And Lily wanted to go for a walk, a very long walk. So my parents, they live um, just, no, well, not up the road, but uh, about a 30-minute walk away from our house. And Lily wanted to walk there on this day. Now, with a 4-year-old... Uh, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour. For me, it probably take 30 minutes. So this is an extra long walk. We have to go up a big hill. But you know what? I'm good. My period's probably not going to start. But it did. <laughs> and it started full force. It was heavy. It was, it was not fun. Luckily, I'm 
prepared and I was wearing a lily pad, thank goodness. Um, but as we're walking, the cramps were really bad and it gushed. It was not fun and I didn't like the feeling and I had to walk with it for almost an hour to my parents' house. So how do I stop that feeling? I don't want that feeling. Um, I don't want to wear uh, a cup. Cups are great. I'm not going to dis cups. If if you can use them, if you like them, if they fit your lifestyle, then use them. I've tried them. Um, they're not for me. I like my lily pads. So I'm going to stick with that. But I don't want that gushing feeling. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to feel that. Uh, some people say if you if you're on my Instagram and you see my memes I post, one of them said it's like giving birth to a jellyfish, and it is. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to wear a cup. So what do I do? So. I did some research and I came up with my own design of one of these, I'll grab my favorite, um, these pad boosters. So they're interlabial pads. Now they don't go inside, they're not internal to wear, but what you wear, how you wear them, there's three ways to wear them, and they go inside your labia. So there's different ways to wear them, there's different ways to fold them, and how this works is that it's one stop before it hits the pad so okay let's do a demo so it's in between the labia and your menstrual blood will will hit it here and it's gonna slow down the the flow so if you're having a gush it's gonna slow it down and it's also gonna direct your flow into the center of the pad so you're not gonna feel that gush of wetness in like a jellyfish, it's going to slow it down and it's also going to direct it onto the center of the pad where you're where you want it to go. If you tend to be a back bleeder or a front bleeder and um, you're worried that you're going to go off the side, especially at night if you're rolling around, even if it's pretty light moderate flow, you can bleed off the top or the back depending on how you're moving around. Another great tip for that is to wear a snug fitting underwear especially at night. But if you're going to wear this it's going to slow it down and it's going to direct the flow into uh, the center of the pad. My husband called this like a period funnel. <laughs> so it's going to slow it down and it's going to direct it into the spot that you want. So these are a little petal shape and they're made of two sides of bamboo velour so this is super absorbent. Um, this is my favorite if you want something to absorb quick and draw it right into the core. These are the pads that I, that I um, would recommend to use. So there's three different ways to use them and I'm going to show you to them now. You can roll it up, you just keep rolling it like this and you're going to stick it in between your labia. That's one way. Another way is you're going to roll it the opposite way and this is going to make it so it's a little bit thicker so if it's really heavy and need something extra you can roll it up like this. You can fold it or if you're very sensitive and you need a little bit of a boost for more absorption but you don't want to wear a larger pad then you can just lay this flat on top of the pad. Let me grab one here. So another way to wear it, oops, it's hard to tell when you're watching yourself on the computer, is just to place it right here in the middle and they'll give you some um, added protection. So if anyone has any questions, please put them down in the comments. I'm going to try to look these over right quick before I keep going. Hi Vanessa, good morning, how are you? Hi Danielle, love your Insta, thank you. Mary, lifesaver. Oh yeah, for sure, price. So, you get a pack of three. You, We have e uh, either the unble un bleh, unbleached bamboo velour, the black, or the tie-dye, and this tie-dye design is called Strawberry Shortcake. You get three in a pack, and uh, for one pack of three is $8.99. It's on my website, and I'm going to have to, um, let me see if I can just share this really quick, um, the link to it. I was going to use StreamYard, but it wasn't working with me, um, and that, so I can't have the links 
um, before I start like I wanted to. Let's go to... And I wish I could share my screen. I'm so new to Facebook Live, so I really need to... I really need to get with it. Here we go. Okay, so I just commented the link for the pad boosters there. You can see it, save it, take a look at it later when we're done the live. So boosters, they're great. They direct your flow. They're great for um, heavy flows, especially the few first days. If you're active, if you're walking around at nighttime, to slow it down and direct it so um, you feel more protected and from gushes. All right, so I have some disclaimers about these. These are extremely comfortable. <laughs> you forget that you're wearing them. Um, so you need to be careful if you're going to the bathroom to go pee or whatever. Um, make sure they don't drop in the toilet. So try to put a mental note or put a sticky note on your bathroom mirror that you are wearing a pad booster. And if you're wearing it in between your labia, then don't let it drop in the toilet. <laughs> You don't want that to happen. So very comfy and they're not for internal use so they don't go inside the vagina. They're interlabial or you can lay on top of your pad. So a couple extra things that I have for you today that are new on the website is these bamboo velour pads. So they're made out of the same fabric as the pad boosters but these are some new colors. This, oops, this one is called Strawberry Shortcake. And this one is called Blueberry. And I absolutely love them. And I dyed them with snow. So instead of doing um, an ice dye or um, just like water with a bottle, I got snow. And it was it was fun. I love this way. So I'm, I'm going to have to tie dye um, some more bamboo velour that way because there's snow everywhere right now. It's perfect. Also last week... I introduced our mini wet bags. I I had four prints. One of them already sold out, um, so I'm not going to talk about that one. You can see the picture on the website. So these are the mini wet bags. This one was a really popular popular print. Um, the last time I got these in, they were a bigger double bag, and these were were the first ones to sell out. I have a few of these left, a few of the arrows, and the rainbow. So these are made out of a PUL, so they're waterproof. And you can stick your pads in there or make like a little pad kit for school or work. I have a video too, uh, Instagram reel that will show you how I like to make my my emergency purse backpack kits. I think everyone should have one just in case. So I only have a few of those bags left. Each one of them it's already sold out and just know if you're thinking about grabbing one you might want to grab it quick because I'm not getting any more in for at least minimum a month so there's a few left I think there's two of each print left so it's really slim um, so you might want to go uh, check those out too and I can send you the link right here in the comments and if you're watching this video on a replay on Instagram TV or YouTube I will put those links to in the comments and in the copy. So I'm just for all my people watching right now. Here's the wet bags link, and let me get you the bamboo velour links. Do, do, do. These are so fun to make. So if you have any questions before I go, um, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to answer those for you. Let me see. One more link. And I'll take the look, a look at these comments too now. Paste. There we go. All the links are there in the comments here. Perfect. Awesome. So, 
Interlabial pads. Great if you have a heavy flow, want to slow it down, need a little bit extra protection without having to size up on a pad. It will save you from having to buy more pad sizes too. Um, if you just need a little bit of an extra boost. The new Bamboo Velour tie-dye pads that I have. And all these are limited. I can't recreate a dye because they're all one of a kind. And the, the new wet bags that are almost gone. So all the links are in the comments. If you have any more questions, let me know. Send me a message. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you everyone for joining me on this live today. I hope you have a great weekend. And I'll see you soon. Bye.